All right, welcome everyone. We're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Kobayashi's, Kobayashi's Dragon, Dragon Maid, Season 2, two Episode 9. nine. All right. So super wholesome and adorable and wonderful. It really blew our socks off. I, mm-hmm. I think that everything about that episode was just a combo wombo of just really sweet things. Like yep. having everything with uh, Toru and Kobayashi go that way was wonderful. Mm-hmm. But also just more stuff with Ilulu to yeah. just connect ourselves with her. Like that that was that was really sweet. Yeah, that kind of stuff of showing her past and like how it affects her now and mm-hmm. all that stuff is introducing a new character into the show this late is a tough thing to do and. Every time yeah. that they focus on the Ulu, I'm, I'm, I'm less yeah, satisfied. It's a good way to build the dynamic, and then Shota, yeah. of course, as well was was sweet and having his little yep. moments where he's like consulting Fafnir and mm-hmm. and uh, Nuko is like Takia. offering help, yeah, but yeah. also just trying to like stay back and be supportive and everything. Mm-hmm. It's great. Yeah, yeah. So y'all, without further ado, let's get into this. Oh, they demand overtime. Uh. スケジュール的にやむを得ない。仕方ないと諦めるな。ブラックキングになれきり、日々を満然と過ごすものばかりの中。ワオ。君はたった一人立ち上がる。うふ。She <笑> エルマは業務の合間のわずかな時間を使い、<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> Oh boy. What'd you say? Wow, okay. Yeah. Damn. Again! <laughs> so Koniwa Shine, Hitori Hitori no schedule, a mochiron, toile, Taigo Nadon, Risekiritz, Hatewa Tsque, and Hijio Tsuita Jikan, Ashio Kumikaita Kaisu, the Show Sign, Shirusare, Solera, Motonista Kako, Koritz, Kaisen, no Te, and Jugen, no Yoni, no Vera Data, Mushka Sreba. Premium Friday. Premium Fridays. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> this serious lighting and everything. I mean, his voice sounds pr- rather light, actually. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh shit. That's right. Yeah, because his. That's right. 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 Yeah. I'm told about yeah. That. Completely forgot. You used clairvoyance, didn't you? Oh shit, the backstory! Oh okay. shit! His eyes. Like, the fact that we see the entire iris is so creepy. Okay. ロードを組合を発足しようとしたり全力で環境改善を訴え続けた。Oh <laughs> The whole thing was just for that. It's the difference of 15 minutes or 30 minutes. No! Oh, okay, sweet. My man! Oh! You are the only adult available. Yeah. Oh, a survival <laughs> How do you kids like sugar? <laughs> Gives them all like 
Limitless sugar. Okay. Wow. <笑>あ、ドラマ。いや。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。
Oh shit! The ribbons are coming up! He's like, yeah, it's not real anymore. I mean, I mean, your barriers are needed for Kobayashi. No, now, now, no, Kobayashi's completely safe. Oh, oh that's right. Right. yeah. <laughs> nice little that reference there. Sweet. Cool. Ah. Uh. Confess your love to me. Yeah. <laughs> There we go. Nice. <laughs> yeah, right, was broken. In other reports, the uh the region of blah 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 was, <laughs> was destroyed utterly. Yeah, yeah. They're fighting over food or something. Oh my god! Oh my god! Ah! <laughs> they're tr they're still trying to find ways to beat each other. They yeah. Didn't... Wait, no. Oh, that's so adorable. <laughs> this episode was so good. This was really, like, really good. This was, this was like, like holy surprisingly shit, the animation, good. But then Even Elma, for Kobayashi. Yeah, yeah. Elma being the the main character, effectively, mm -hmm. this episode. Awesome. I love this stuff of her trying to like overcome the like uh, the Japanese nondescript company that right. overworks its employees and and too uh, much mandatory overtime. And yeah, is stuck in the past with a programming language that nobody uses anymore um like like a whole bunch of like <laughs> random little things that i was just like uh, uh yeah, yeah. Yeah. and then like, and then she like tries to make a union she tries to set all this stuff up and it's just like no be, be gone <laughs> and it's go away yeah and then the extra like kind of like character tie-in of the idea that it's shota's father Right. Cool. Right. Because yeah. we were, you know, we were we told, were told that, right. that a long time yeah, ago. Yeah. That was yeah. the that was the connection of how Shota connects to you know right. Kobayashi and all uh -huh. that stuff. Awesome. But you know, yes, of course, the Harmony Dragon. It's like, wait, corporate environment. Okay, I can I can work with this, but there's I can give you a structure, but there's a lot of shit that needs to be done. You know, I loved the way she basically spied on everyone to get all this info, and it's to the point that they're like. You basically just posted nudes of us. And we and, would have preferred that. Yeah, because the thing is, is that showing this data, even if it's wrong, mm -hmm. is potentially liable to get someone fired. Oh, like, sure. Like, yeah. literally, like, mm. But mm -hmm. I love also the way in which he connects the it back to her backstory. Week, you know? Yeah, yeah, sure. But, but, but just the idea that showing, like, that he knows, oh, not only do I find this information viable... I know probably how you did it because I have connections to the world of magic. So yep. cool. Mm -hmm. But also, his way of hand waving it away is like, no, no, no. I couldn't do this just for your department. I'd have and to do not, it for the whole I'd company. I'd do it for the whole company, and that's just that's just not worth it. No. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I, but then the, I love that this is now just a potentially constant plot line that yep. Elma can work on, mm -hmm. but it's going to be eternally struggling. Right. right. Yeah. And and if and she did ever get like a job as any kind of like mid level manager and stuff, she would be both the perfect mid level manager and the worst mid level manager. Yep. You know, because she would really care about making sure that you know the employees had good work conditions and like you know little breaks and things like right. that. And but stuff. her reasons why might be a little bit off. 
Well, yeah, because it's when it comes right down to it, it's it's selfishly yeah. based, you know. If I, oh, I wanted to get off, you know, fifteen minutes early or thirty minutes yeah, early yeah. or whatever to make it to the line. For, oh my god, for the sweet! That twist of like the only reason why she did this mm -hmm. was because she wanted to get in line for the limited time suite. Yep. And then the transition card being used perfectly to showcase, um, uh, just like the passage of time. just the passage of time. Mm -hmm. I almost thought that for a second that it was actually. Um, that it was actually the amount of time difference that it actually was for her to uh, get there. Maybe. I think the hour hand seems to be moving a lot with that, though. Yeah, maybe maybe it has nothing I don't know. to do with it but, then. Yeah, it's, it's something where, like, in a lot of ways, her dedication to being a harmony dragon is probably the thing that was the biggest issue. Yeah. Because otherwise she could have used... if. Like, at the very least, her dragon powers to try and, True. like, you know, make it work. Or just be like, take a quick little dip out of the office real quick, you know? Yeah. Like, and then, It'll and then, very like, very easy. Work an extra, you know, 15 minutes or whatever yep. after, right? You know, just right. come back and do that. But no, 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 no. Harmony Dragon. Mm -hmm. Ruru da, Ruru da. Hours are the hours, and, you know, and all that stuff. And so, okay. Right. It's the, it's the kind of people that look at, um, an imperfection in a system and they realize well the reason why this imperfection exists is because the entire system is flawed and it's like well yes essentially you're right yeah but there are ways in which you can play with the system to account for the imperfection and she's like nope nope that's too much effort um and it goes against my ideals so right. therefore we will overturn we'll bend the whole over thing. backwards and do you know all of this crazy stuff oh my god i want to be able to be in line for the suite yeah and the idea that she was you know, because because she made it so that she would just be able to be in line, oh no, they just might sell out a bit faster one day. You know? God. And then, uh, but then the guy's like, you know what, I'll just, I'll just take one. Yeah, that was, that was sweet of him. But, yeah. but God, I, I, I cannot stand people like this, though, mm -hmm. who basically have that, oh, there's this one thing that's like a slight problem uh -huh. of like the, the, way, the way things work. Now, this doesn't apply here but just the idea that she's like i'm not able to get my time sweet so therefore the entire company's you know it's, it's like no no no, that's a good separate thing right you know like like she was talking about with the sweets that is that and this is this you yeah, know exactly right like, but people will conflate things together because there's a very loose connection rather than going the 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 simplest route basically through things and it's like i i totally get if it's for the purpose of something that doesn't require action, where you're trying to draw a connection between something, you're like, see, this is the connection there. It's like, okay, sure. But then if you like <laughs> and basically like completely change your life or your 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 daily whatever mm -hmm. just for that thing, it's like, oh my god. Like, and and I mean, and hey, you know, if you d deem it worth it, then cool. But when you also try and change other people's lives. <laughs> No, I'm I'm just talking about the inefficiency of it. Oh. Just the raw, just ridiculousness of it. I mean all this effort was put into not work that could have been used to that's just what, adjust around the yep. fifteen minutes it took to go and grab the suite and come back to work. That's why if you ever want to make sure that something's efficient, find the laziest person to figure out if it's efficient because they yep. will you know, they will figure the, it out. Right, it's it's the Ron Swanson line, you know, I'd work all day if it meant nothing got done, you know. Right? Like <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, I'd work all day if it meant I got to work less. 15 minutes less. Right, because... In, it's like, in, oh my well, God. it's the thing of, in her mind, it's not work, right? She likes doing this. She she gets this sick satisfaction from it, right? God. So, you know... Uh, uh, I, just, I just know people like this who mm. will see a slight problem in a system, and they're like, no, I can't use this system. No, right. no. Like, it's not perfect. No, it's, it, it literally needs to be fixed, and then they'll go and spend, like, two weeks on trying to fix it, and they'll realize it's actually not that it can't be fixed. It's that, well, no. It's, the entire fundamental rules of the way that created the system, those are flawed, so they keep chasing right. down... It's the, the it's, amount of time that it would take to fix the system is more than you would actually end up getting back in any reasonable yep. time span. Yeah, from just using the bad system, and that's I, I and, and, and swear it's those for that same reason why they're using the bad programming, language, right? Right, because it's just well, we don't want to change it because that would take work and effort and stuff. So we're going to continue doing these things. It means we can't really get new hires because no one wants to be right know, coding in whatever you know language they're using. Yeah, yeah, I yes, exactly. 
that's a systematic thing mm-hmm. that's like larger than one person. But when someone does this literally for like their one thing where it's uh-huh. such a like a personal like affecting thing where it, it it does not matter to anyone else all this effort that they put in, it just blows my mind yeah. how well, much how much effort people will put into that kind yeah. of stuff. And I'm sure it blew Toru's mind too, but you know, she just had the benefit of, hey, okay, <laughs> if this happens then that means Kobayashi's home a little bit earlier. Yeah. So I, I, I can be good with that, you know. But, uh, yeah. but okay, then the Elma surprise mm-hmm. of, oh, she didn't drink or eat any of her ice cream shake thing or whatever. Mm-hmm. Well, even oh. before that, there was the whole thing of her taking taking Kana and and oh this, god, I you completely know, forgot and about Sa- that. Saikawa yeah, yeah. and 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 Shota and everything out on the out All on the, the trip. Picnic, yeah, that was so sweet, like just yes. so cute and everything because yeah. She's the perfect chaperone, right? Mm-hmm. She's the harmony dragon, of course, right? Right. Granted, she's also a bit of an airhead and such, so, yeah. you know, she just ends up admiring the feeling of the water on her feet. And, mm-hmm. by the way, the animation on the water when she dipped her, her foot in was incredible. Yeah. But then, it, oh, they're just like, oh, we'll just go do something, and she freaks out, right? Because, of yeah. course, she does, because she's the Harmony Dragon. And wait, something's not going exactly the way it's supposed to for, you know, ten seconds. Mm-hmm. Oh, God, what do I do? Yeah, yeah. And then, <laughs> I'll just I'll just use my clairvoyance, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah perfect. <laughs> no, no. Counterspell. Uh, counterspell. Oh, yeah, she does that sometimes. No, no, I don't, I don't want anyone spying on us. We can just follow the ley lines back. It's fine. He did not know it was from, from Elma, though. All he knew uh, was that he's with... Two young girls, mm-hmm. yep. and you know what? I'm a, I'm a, right. I'm a mage. I can, I That's can protect right. them. And he, some figured... creep comes around with his magic, you know, scrying mm-hmm. things. It's like I'm gonna spy on them. Like no, right. And he None didn't mention that it was probably Elma. But does just he in actually case. mention that? I, I, I believe I, so. I, I don't remember him actually mentioning that. He said, I'm sure it was Lukoa. Oh, Lukoa. Yeah, yeah. Ah, yes. That's she does right. from time to time. Yeah, I don't know why he would assume oh, yeah, it yeah. Elma. That... Right. Oh, yeah, no, that makes way more sense. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. And he's yeah, yeah. used to blocking Lukoa's clairvoyance. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. No wonder she worries about him. And she's like, I can't look right on... No. On... Boundaries. Yeah. Privacy. Yeah, 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 Woman, exactly. learn these things, please. Back. This ain't it, Chief. Yeah. <laughs> right. So the way in which Elma ends up getting lost mm-hmm. encounters a bear. And I props I, up its mouth, basically. And I'm holding I hold to the head cannon that that's the same bear that the dude trained against when he ran into Toru and Toru just juggled him. And then he went up train against the bear and then the bear just flipped him in oh the right right yes yes and, yes, and the bear's yes. like, Yes, I'm a bear. I'm I'm you know, apex predator, all that stuff, and then suddenly just and it's just my my whole life is a lie. The power is scaling. Yeah, I just oh, it's completely. I wrong. don't know. I'm, I'm suddenly I'm scared. I'm what just gonna sit down here. What even am I anymore? <laughs> right. <laughs> on land, air, and sea, always bet on bear. Right. <laughs> God, um, I love I love the classic reference of the two punches like hitting each other's cheeks and stuff mm-hmm. on the thing there. But yeah. okay, okay, Elma emotional. <sighs> Just exploration here. That was excellent. That was really good. Like, the way in which we set up the backstory earlier in the mm-hmm. show. Yep. Okay, cool. We get it. They wandered mm-hmm. around and had a little bit of a debate on yeah. how to interact and, in some ways, um, intervene in the uh, sure. guiding of humanity. Mm-hmm. One of them was really against it. One of them was like, no, 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 there's, there's reasons for this. Yeah. And we saw the results of it, and they split up after right. that. Yeah, that was that was something that really helped me. Like it elevated Elma in my mind in the cast of like Dragon Maid because mm-hmm. because even like Ilu, who's like the more recent character, before that, I, well, I can't remember. I think I think she was introduced before that, but even then, it was something where she kind of went above even Elma in my mind very quickly because there was like an emotional core to like yeah. you know her character, right? Whereas yeah. with Elma, she always kind of seemed like, oh, I have the shtick of I like sweets and stuff. But like, where's where's the where's the where's the heart to it, you know? Yeah. And and we got that before with the backstory, and that was excellent. But then we got it even more here, right? Mm-hmm. And this, I feel like, was it this was, was this was giving, I would say, specific language to the things that we mm-hmm. interpreted vaguely through sure. the backstory. Is that in a lot of ways they kind of 
they kind of were together, mm-hmm. Alma and Toru. Yep. And not in the together, uh, you're at the shop with me, but like, right. they, they kind of were a thing. And, you know... Whatever the whatever the labels that they put yeah, on that, exactly. you know, for themselves or or that other, you know other people if they had been privy to the details of their relationship would have put on it. Who cares? It doesn't matter. It was just them at right. the time. Point so. is, they were very close. They cared about each other a lot. In a yeah. lot of ways, they still do, even though they haven't been able to reconcile those feelings and and right. the the different perspectives on things. Right. So now Elma forces a fight to basically exactly. be like, "Hey, let's warm up." But yep. no, that's not why she's doing this. She wants to share her feelings. I actually thought she was going to confess in the more straightforward yeah. way, but then they went this route, which is even better, where she's like, hey, why why aren't we like we were before? Yep. I really miss that. And I, Aww. I was, one of, the, one of the big reasons why I thought I was going to potentially go the route of confession mm-hmm. was because she was basically uh, trying to get Toru to leave Kobayashi, right? Oh, because she was saying, like, sure. when are you going to go back to your world, right? And the big reason why Toru, of course, would not would never do that is because Kobayashi. Kobayashi's yeah. here, right? But is there a possibility that maybe Alma's, like, possibly jealous, you know, of, like, oh, we spent all that time when we were over there, possibly. you know, together when we were over there. Now we just kind of fight and stuff, but, like, I don't want that to be the way things are, mm. you know. But she ended up being able to communicate her feelings and being like, hey... That's why the stuff tasted better over there, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because it was with you. Yeah. And yeah. this dynamic now that they have with, like, the competing over who can, like, keep from laughing when Kana and Psycho are tickling, or Kana and Ilu are tickling their feet, mm-hmm. like, that is that is wonderful. And like, nope, no, it's always a draw. Mm-hmm. Always yep. a draw. Yep, because so, so, they're a lot more similar than they would like to believe. Yeah, yeah. you yeah. guys can get treated by, by Kobayashi, which mm-hmm. is good for one level. But yep. I, I really love this because while they're kind of the rival characters in that they're from different factions of dragons, yeah, I've never really seen them actually as true um, rivals in the story because Toru really only becomes a rival with anyone that kind of seeks after Kobayashi's affection. Uh-huh. So like Ilulu showing up, sure, brought up a potential rival thing there. But then quickly Ilulu's like, no, no, I don't, I don't mm-hmm. really care about that. That's yeah. just like, oh, why not? So in this case. Elma doesn't feel like she even has a rival necessarily in Kobayashi because Toru and her are really close now. She might feel that a little bit, but it's really just the idea of why do we have to be this way? Right. Like, who cares about anyone else? Let's go way up into the sky yep. and fall slowly forever, basically, just to have this quiet moment, the two of them. And I thought that was a really sweet way to handle it is... You know, Baff is brought around basically to be like, hey, if things get crazy, stop us. Right. Also, please protect Kobayashi. Yeah, so that she can, you know, be like, hey, that's enough, you two. You know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But what's really great about this is that once they resolve their emotions, Fafnir can tell that the fight is now different. It is not actually right. really the same level of oomph into it. Mm-hmm. So he can leave and Kobayashi will be just fine. Right. And he's literally like, oh, this is boring. Like, I'm, I'm uh-huh. out of here. Yeah. And... And I love how much they smile once they're fighting after mm-hmm. that point. Because like, it's like, ah, that yeah. Was, that was, yeah. The, like, the visuals this episode were really good before it got before to Before even the fight. Movie. Like, the, you know, because again, that camping trip, amazing, right? Yeah, yeah. Elma thinking about the different, like, Toru faces. Yes. Incredible. I love it. And then we get this spectacle, right? right it's right. just... <laughs> oh, so good <laughs> like and and that was another thing that they really did was cool is they didn't just shoot the energy blasts and stuff like that they nope. tore up the environment and changed oh, the yeah. places that they were actually fighting in yep so it it really was like violently different over the course of like the full what like 60 70 seconds of the fight yeah like, i don't that know was a like really long um fight in general but um the, a lot of the talking yelling at it uh, at Toru, mm-hmm. um, trying to make her understand her feelings here. It was really sweet. And I, I really like that this show can get, I would say, these kinds of interactions. Because in this first season, mm-hmm. I think this is where actually I would say this second season has absolutely surpassed the first season in terms of story, yeah. is that a lot of the interactions were between a human and a dragon. Mm. And very rarely were they a dragon-on-dragon interaction. Right. I feel like in the first season, a lot of it was based on the on the comedy 
of the premise, yeah. but also with the idea that the premise is fresh. So a lot of right. the um, a lot of the crazy interactions and stuff that happen as a result of that are kind of more of the focus than necessarily the character moments. Yep. And if the and if and then the character moments get the focus when it's like just the character moments. Sure. And, and they were still fantastic, right? Right. But because it's the second season now, right? The, the story's been going on for a while. They don't like you can have the spectacle because why not? Let's have the spectacle. Yeah. But you can have those tender things happening alongside it, right? Yeah, and it won't I'm, get like overshadowed. Yeah, but I think you're also like missing the point of what I'm trying to say. Oh, okay. Here, as I'm literally just saying that the interactions between the characters when it's dragon on dragon is more interesting story wise and character wise. In a, in a lot of cases, then actually the human on dragon interactions when okay. they were just being the fish out of water dragon to ah, gotcha. what is the human world like kind of situations. This gives way more potential characterization and drama Ooh. because these characters don't have to go through the language barrier effectively. Right, exactly. So yeah, they communicate much more viscerally and honestly. Right, they can understand a lot of the things that the other person has been through, and especially in this case because they have that shared history. Right. Like even someone like, say, Fafnir, if he, you know, were interested enough to even, you know, be like, oh, yes, let me participate in this conversation, he would know a lot of the, the kinds of struggles that dragons go through, whereas Kobayashi would just have to kind of learn from, you right. know, Toru's regaling yeah. her. And know? then from that perspective, Kobayashi understands Toru way more at this point, mm. to the point that there isn't that barrier, so the Toru-Kobayashi interactions this season are way more emotionally yeah. charged at like specific points because we yes. now know a lot more about how Toto right. works and Kobayashi does yeah, they, as well they've, because she's the perspective character. Right. They've the managed to break down the, that language barrier. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So this was this was really, really powerful. Good mm -hmm. good stuff. Yep. And I also just love the classic like the world is collapsing around right. while the characters fall holding holding, holding each, each other. other. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. It's like uh yep, yep that's, that's classic. Just beautifully portrayed. Yeah, 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 and then just mm -hmm. glorious animation, and then yeah. <laughs> and then back to simplistic animation of haha, we're tickling your feet, and it's just them yeah. cracking up. Yeah. But wow, yeah, this was a this was excellent, a crazy episode. episode. Yeah. But y'all, thank you so much for watching this episode's reaction and discussion. If you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion right now, though, go check out the link in the description below for our Patreon. You can get an early access there. You can watch full-length timer reactions there, and this comes with Discord access. So you can chat with us in the community there about this show about anime in general, and also be sure to check out our Twitch channel. We stream every weekday. The info's in the description. Yes, if ain't that interest, you will see you there. But until then, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next time.